Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey. Hold on! Hey. Hey. Something strange here. Very, very strange. Strange? What do you mean? What's strange is this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Gabe, say hello to the secret scene. I knew it. I fucking Woo! knew it. I like Woo! the moment he said sneak a peek, I went, oh god, they're gonna take the bath thing. Woo! Oh god. Oh <sighs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> That's You're absolutely right. <laughs> that you were all about 2D. Oh, if you need to shut up and sit down and listen to what I have to say, an opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. Isn't that the thing called man's fantasy or something? Yes. <laughs> God, Monokuma. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said or just go quietly back to the dining hall? Okay, let's <laughs> go. So normally he would say no, but because you have a man's fantasy, he's like, yes, let's do it. I'm ready to see some titties. With a man's fantasy burning in my chest and my pocket pulls out a bath and tub, I decided yeah, to Yeah, I actually want to read to you the description for it. A wash basin intended to give you the courage to seek out a true man's fantasy, specifically in public bathhouses. <gasps> what? Stop. There's no other let's item go. like this, right? No. The, uh, there's one item that gives you a clip in the movie gallery, but that, you get that at the end of the game. So, okay. this is it. Uh -huh. In the second game, there's, uh, like, a few, though. <laughs> Have fun in your man's fantasy. Have a smashing good time. Yes. We opened the door to the dressing room, silent as death, and peeked inside. It looked like the girls had already finished changing and gone to the bathhouse. This had all started as a lie, but apparently they'd g uh, decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way to the dressing room. The Forbidden Land. But... So, they really are taking a bath. Is that what- is what Celeste meant about lying convincingly? Mm. Mr. Hagakure, please refrain from Portland's whispering. We're deep in enemy territory here. <laughs> Just up ahead is the bathhouse, and there awaits a great dazzling passion. Yes, I'm doing that whenever anything perverted is happening. The one time out you talked to him. Be careful, he'll get us caught. If Ogre finds us, we'll be meeting up with Hades in no time. You're calling Soccer is precious, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Miss Nagy, you're on point. Alright. I placed my hand on the door leading to the bathhouse. I opened it gently inch by inch. I maneuvered my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further a little further, and then... On the other side of the thick, rising steam, I saw... Hell yeah. Uh, where did she come from? Hell yes. Hell where did yes. she come from? She, she fucking... Shut up while you're talking to Monokuma. Shut the fuck up. J you Hell know yeah. exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> you mean Toko. I know. Yeah. She showed up while you're talking to Monokuma. Fuck off. We get all the remaining girls I'm naked. I'm not sure how to put it, but I always feel refreshed after a job well done. Mm -hmm. That body body isn't so bad in Good this state, Good thing they were all wearing those, uh... Towels, yeah. Good thing they were all wearing those towels, yeah. I mean, to be fair, not everyone is willing to just, you know, go in completely naked around other people. Yeah, but the fact that none of them were willing to go in naked. Well, I mean, one of them technically wasn't wearing one, but it was covered up because she was in the middle of tripping. I guess. Could it be? But still, I just can't believe it, like, for serious. Hugger's a girl? You <laughs> stupid that fucker. Is this really okay? Well, I look too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Oh man, what a nice bath. This is fine. Getting a chance to uh, uh, getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Normally, after such a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee. But <laughs> sorry, no time for that. There's been a body. So in what? the end, that's what I figured. 
you what I mean? We were just saying uh, in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. It has been one day. It has not even been a full day. Because... After seeing how happy we were an evil monster like you would never let that last for long. You're all so terrible to me. It was so cool to see even after I got presents for all you. Presents? Mm? Oh, I have your, I've got your attention? <laughs> well, let's head to the gym where your presents await. No questions, no doing that way. Get a move on, and everything will become queer. What about Byakuga and the rest of them? Eh, yeah, fuck him. What is it? Why? Are you, what are you scheming this time? It would seem he's probably going to repeat the same thing again, providing us with the motive to get things moving. I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have lost their ego. I'm sure he'll find something. So for now, correct. We have to endure it. Just come with me. With the heavy feet, we made our way to the gym, but when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to the firearms, you'd be all dead. Byakuga. Byakuga. Okay. <laughs> I mixed the two names. Did you get here early? Did you forget how to walk? It's that way you're late. It's simple right foot, left foot, right foot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same as always, I see her on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie down herself, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and then she went back to her old. She fucking transforms through sneezing. Yeah. Blood, seeing blood, and sneezing. So passing out, sneezing. She's literally just the girl launch. She's launch from freaking Dragon Ball. Multi-personality disorder. One of them's kind of a psycho. The other one's... Okay, not quite like launch, but still. <laughs> so now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. What the heck? You boy, can't keep making fun of me. I... I hope you all wouldn't get lottery and get hit by a bus. Oh. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means. Looks like everyone's here! So then, let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you pre prepared for us this time? However... Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right, we're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on. <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive, calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up until now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire into someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you this. Money. Ten million dollars. So that's a billion yen. Mm -hmm. I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. How many of us are there left? Ten? <sighs> Toko, Byakuya, Aoi, Us, Kirigiri, Sakura, Yasuhiro, Hifumi, Taka... I think nine. Okay, and number secret number ten, who is just the student who we never saw to begin with. So, okay. because you know, one empty spot. 
So with the 10 of us remaining, I don't know why I asked, I have a, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, there's 10 of us. Oh, I don't think I counted Toko. Yeah, you did not. Whoops, it's fine. Also, technically Jack as well. So really, there's 11 of us left and you're giving us $10 million. The average human life is worth $1 million. That is a cheap skate right there. I refuse to do it. Just in principle. Okay. What do you think? It's 10 million bucks. 10 million smackaroos. It's like totally wow, 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 am I right? So who here needs money? thinking who would have some kind of reason need money like actually need it but besides Hagakure we don't mm -hmm. yeah 10 million dollars is it's not nearly enough it's true when it comes to motives money certainly is the gold standard so to speak whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world but there's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You simply can't purchase a person's life. One million dollars is the standard. Uh, um. Uh. I don't really buy that. I don't seem somewhat convincing. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's ten million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important thing is not to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage alongside the massive sum of money. Um, Can we just, like, take it? Yeah, I mean, what would right happen? Now? What would happen if I were to walk up and burn it? There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. Yeah, there might be someone here having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. That's only one million dollars, though. Imagine getting ten yep, times. Yep. So far, in... she's sixteen. Yes. Imagine getting like, again. Imagine getting ten million in a ultimate gamble, a gamble for your own life. Yeah, I know. But, I'm just but saying. She could easily make more than that. Yeah. Especially if she gets out of here. Yeah. So I'm just saying. Imagine ten, like multiplying your current winnings by ten, and then using that to earn even more. I'm just saying, Celeste has the most motive thus far, but we'll see. I'm telling you! Kifumi, what about you? you know I'm a super popular content creator! I don't have any problems making enough to buy me my comics and DVDs! Yeah. Again? Hey. Just stop professing others about their financial finance. Personal finances is ugly. Don't worry. Either way, whatever is going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. So what happens if I wanted one person to escape so I were to pick up something and start killing indiscriminately? Because I don't care about winning personally. Um, well... <sighs> Monokuma would stop... What if he couldn't stop me? He could stop you. What if I had poisoned, like, everyone but one person? He could stop you. I'm not sure how he would stop something that already happened. Well, I mean, he would stop it while you were doing it. If I was making obvious I was doing one person and I accidentally everyone? He would stop me. I don't believe that. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited.
<laughs> so my thing is that Aoi came out last night to get donuts. Mm -hmm. At night. Mm -hmm. When the door From the warehouse. Uh, which she specifically stated. I forget the warehouse even exists, to be honest. I, okay, I just... Then. Yeah. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bang bang bang. Fuck up. Hmm. It's already that time, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to all three people. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because... Or the predator bay suddenly finds itself the prey. You mean like mines now? All over again? Yeah. Also, the issue is that then we would have an issue. She killed herself. She killed them in self defense. 100% self defense. We would still have to condemn her. She probably wouldn't murder them though. She would most likely just incapacitate them. Accidents can happen. Especially if they're deranged. Her voice is calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. Also, I don't specifically mean her, I mean in general. What happens if you kill purely in self-defense and you don't show any, like, you immediately admit to it. You know? Okay, okay, let's everyone just get head back to our rooms. And don't think about the whole muddy thing. Got it? Good. Then let's break. Mm. Both that pretty good, right, Taka? Poor boy. Poor boy. Right. Sh just shut the fuck up. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money, there's no way that's going to get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having her secrets revealed. I mean, to be fair, your secret was that you wet the bed until you were in sixth grade. Someone else's secret was that they have a split personality that's a serial killer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they didn't kill over it. No, but the point is that some a lot of people's motivations could be different and you don't know. Uh-huh. Like somebody's mother could be dying of cancer and she needs $8 million in treatment. Yeah. I'm really hoping that soccer or something doesn't be, end up being the killer because of something like that, like her sister or something. I don't know. So that's the lesson we learned. But this time, this time it's different, I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. But Monica left the attack. Little kids have it so easy. Because they can put little in front of their names, and right off the bat, everyone thinks they're so cute. We'll find out what I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monkuma. No. See? Just by doing that, my cuteness goes up by at least, like, 10%, right? No. Well, yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough Lils. More Lils would lead to the salvation of the world. And I actually preferred Phil. But, I mean, Lillian wasn't terrible. She actually was. Oh, my Just imagine a little arsonist, a little war criminal, a little destruction of the environment, a little hit and run, a little death tax, a little Great Depression. 